Alright, so I got myself a new scooter. It's a 9-bot G30 Max LD. Uh, D standing for uh, Deutschland. <clears throat> and so what this means is it goes the slowest ever at uh, 20 per hour. Obviously, I did flash a custom firmware. This is done with the scooter hacking app. So the boys over there did a tremendous job, insanely good. And I did see some 9-bot G30 Max full stop. So the regular longer one, which is usually black and it's kind of this much longer. And I did see a guy tearing down one of those batteries and it's a 10S 6P pack, which is amazing. But then I saw in M365 tools that it, this does report 10,200 milliamp hours which is kind of weird given that the Pro 2 I have is 12,800 or thereabouts, right? So I do want to know roughly the setup of this battery to know how much I can pump into this motor. At the moment, I'm running 1.2 kilowatts and it is dangerously fast, very enjoyable, but I don't really want to kill this. And given that there's no pictures online, no reference, nothing, Let's uh, let's just go ahead and uh, take it apart and have a quick look. This would be my warranty out the fucking window, which is the ethical thing to do, right? And given that we are running this close to three, four times, uh, two, three times faster than what Xiaomi intended, so yeah, it's only fair to forego the warranty. Yeah, so... So that's out, and the charging connector, which is quite beefy as well. Damn, I really don't think I'm gonna be able to do this one-handed, although... I do want you guys to know I am giving it my best shot. Alright, I'm pretty good at this, not gonna lie. Okay, so... I think this should be the battery completely disconnected. Okay, so let's take this over to the bench and have a look, see what's inside. This is going very well. I have to say I was expecting more issues. Now it doesn't have a seal anymore, so that is a problem, but I might run some sanitary silicone over it. Let's see how. It is time. Cheers. How well it sits. Okay, so this is way empty. Holy shit. So if I ran 1.2 kilowatts out of a 10S 4P pack, which this seems to be, right? So 4P instead of 6P if you fill this entire thing up. Uh, that would be how much? Let's see. So we're talking 1,200 watts divided by, eh, let's say we're going 40 volts. So that gives us 30 amps out of four cells divided by four uh seven but maybe not too bad i don't know i mean again the vaping people take 50 amps out of these so it should be fine but um yeah so mainly you're paying not for a bigger battery because that is in the pro 2 but uh, the rear wheel drive motor is way more powerful construction overall right the chassis is way more rugged and uh, that seems to be the cost driver right and everything is potted everything is potted i don't know if yeah let me see if i can go handheld on this so right everything is potted and xt60 instead of xt30 so Way more tolerance on everything. Uh, yeah. 
a bit disappointed to be honest. I at least 5p. I don't know. This is although how the hell now, but these should be higher current cells. Let's see if we can, but I don't think you can see them. Does this lift out? Okay, so there's screws over here. I really don't want to open this too far. Um, if anyone knows exactly this color and what type cells these are, then let me know. I'm a bit colorblind. This looks pretty pink to me, but nah, I don't know. Yeah, so if it's, Yeah, so it is 40 cells, so this is exactly how many cells are in this one. And if this has 12,800, and that has 10,000, it means these are higher current cells. So I should be fine with going 1.2 kilowatts with this. I know I'm explaining this to myself, I... Right? I don't know. Do what you gotta do. And, uh, yes, I think... I think we could just... Um, seal this back up. These connectors seem pretty, pretty flimsy here. Not gunked down at all, but they probably have some kind of hook thing. We have some temperature probes, and uh, there should be a thermal fuse, perhaps here. I don't know. I don't even know how they use the thermal fuse because it's definitely not in line with the main power lines. It's. Uh, I think it just turns off a MOSFET or something. I don't know how they did it. But yeah, let's just uh, put this back together and uh, take a look at the controller and we'll be done. While I tighten down the screws, I will say, similarly to cars, rear, rear wheel drive does feel pretty good, right? So it has this kind of a no slip feeling right so when you accelerate all your weight goes on the back wheel so unless you put down ridiculous amounts of power it will not slip if it will it will oversteer and it will be highly uncontrollable it will probably kill you but that should only happen in the winter or i don't know uh, rainy conditions on marble or shit like that so overall, should it be fine? Uh, I don't think I'll be able to do drifts outside of mud roads or something. But um, it feels nice and it's louder than the Pro 2, right? It just, it feels beefier. And given what we've seen, it is built beefier than the Pro 2. And this seems to be way easier to repair than this, but I don't know, given that I've never repaired one of those, might be mistaken. Maybe it's fine, maybe I'm just panicking. Although, but the issue I have with this is the cells are oriented this way, right? So if I want to take a middle bank out, how the fuck do I do it? Do I, like, does, does it open? Does it accordion open? How does it, I don't know. I'm, I'm really scared. I'm, I'm genuinely afraid of what's gonna happen. I've discharged it as much as possible, but given that one of the banks is 0.8 volts behind, under load, that'll definitely cut under three and stop stop the discharging for everything else. So it's a tall order to discharge this properly. And I'm not gonna go like five per hour either. So that's out of the question. And before we wrap up, Let's have a quick look. Man, I really don't want this falling on the floor. Let's have a quick look at the controller. And as I said, very nice two-stage conform conformal coating. So they have this uh, silicone-y thing going once on the MOSFETs and once on everything else. So that is very sexy, I have to say. And yeah, this is the three cap model. Apparently there's one with just one cap. I don't know. Um, thermal pad, so very nice. Again, a bit more expensive than what Xiaomi did. And all the MOSFETs are screwed down. In the case of the Xiaomi, they are not. They're pressed in with the top top half of the, of the controller case. 
Uh, yeah, apart from this, I don't know, this, this is a bit more shitty than what Xiaomi has with the magnetic uh, cover. Motor is supposedly more powerful. These plastic, thi plastic things are a bit shittier than what Xiaomi has. The German people need their, um, uh, this little badge thing to get them road legal. Uh, drum brakes in the front instead of disc brakes in the back. I don't know, they should be fine. And also they have this very nice sleeve so the wire doesn't get dirty. So it's always very easy to press. So that should be nice. Little adjustment thingy over here. Again, very nice. Solid construction, different um, different folding mechanism. And I really hate the fact that it's fucking black over here. Why the hell is everything gray and the thing black? I don't know. Same thing with the with the white Xiaomi models. I don't know. No, um, no support for the uh, fender, but it is way more sturdy than the original M365 one. Yeah, apart from this, charger is also 70 watts, at least the one I got. So, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. That's about it.